We're just four days away from Pikmin 4's release, and I have a tip to share with you. On day two, you take your first trip to the Sun Speckled Terrace. It might be overwhelming to see how open the area is and how much stuff there is to collect, but there's actually only a finite amount of things to do here your first time. This means you have much more time to complete other things on future days. There are two reasons you can only do so much here on your first visit. First of all, Ochi won't grow to his full size until you rescue a castaway and progress to the next day. This means anything you need to jump to reach is inaccessible. Secondly, until you rescue and talk to Russ, you can't build bridges. There are three bridges in the Sun Speckled Terrace, two of which are required to progress further in the area. If you want to complete everything possible on day two, I'll show you a simple route. As long as you already collected 20 red Pikmin from the hub area, you could ignore these pellets. Make your way over to this wall and break it down. Before exploring anywhere else, hop into the last frost cavern. Collect everything in here, and then return to the surface. Now, make your way to the left, kill the fiery blowhog, and set your base here. Now, turn around and kill these dwarf bulborbs. Take a right, and you can knock down this red ball with Ochi. Just put five red Pikmin on it so you don't have to kill the fiery blowhog. Now turn back around and go through this way. Make sure to smash these pots to get this fruit back, and then lower this metal thing. Kill this bulborb, remove this plant, and then break down this wall. Knock down this watch and bring it back. Then have Ochi dig up this cave and push this paper bag down. Next, kill this bulborb and grab these binoculars. Once you have all your treasures transported back, jump into the crackling cauldron. Collect everything here, and then exit the cave. Once you come up to the surface, grab 20 yellow Pikmin and 10 ice Pikmin. Throw 15 of your yellow Pikmin onto this electric gate, and then circle around and grab this flarlic bulb with the other five. Move past the electric gate and make your way to this area. Kill the enemies and move your base as soon as the flarlic bulb is back in the onion. Turn around and make your way over to this paper bag. Crush it, and then go over here, break these pots, grab these buttons, and then turn around again to grab the yellow onion. While your Pikmin bring back the yellow onion, go over here to grab this satellite pin thing. And there you have it. That's everything you can do on day two of Pikmin 4. You should have less than 1,500 sparklium, assuming you didn't bring back too many enemies in the caves. After this, the Sun Speckled Terrace should be exactly 30% complete. 